What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about something that's kind of going around in the Warzone community, and that is a lot of the players wanting the Black Ops Cold War integration into Warzone completely removed. Before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the content, hit the like button, and be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. Uh, there's a petition going around that's gained a good bit of traction. It's been on social media. It's been on gaming websites. And that is a lot of pl uh, players, a lot of people in the Warzone community want the Black Ops Cold War integration completely removed. Um, now, I talked about a lot of issues that I kind of had in my opinion back when this was first announced. They were going to integrate Warzone and Black Ops Cold War together. And they were going to do this from game to game each year. And they're going to keep Warzone alive by just integrating the next game into it. And I said then that I did not know if it would ever work correctly because if you first of all you look at engines if sledgehammer is going to make next year's game or infinity ward a lot of people are speculating it's going to be sledgehammer you had Treyarch this year that's a new engine every year that you have to integrate uh warzone with of course now the warzone engine itself stays the same you know the same thing we had in in uh you know with modern warfare but at the same time you have new weapons coming into play that are going to work differently because they're in a different engine they're in Black Ops Cold War multiplayer this year, of course, and you're trying to put them in that engine of modern warfare. So I had my kind of speculations about a lot of the stuff when it was first talked about. I was wondering how exactly Raven Software would handle all this, and the transition has not been that smooth. Now, will it get better over time? It may. You know, from title to title, it may get to where they can improve it. Let's hope so, but there's a lot of issues within Warzone when it comes to cheating, when it comes to just, you know, players not getting into lobbies that, that they consider to be fair. You know, a lot of people think it's just the skill-based matchmaking in Warzone is just absolutely awful as well. And it's it's caused a lot of big streamers, a lot of big YouTubers to start stepping away from the game. There's a lot of people out there saying they're, they refuse to play it until it's fixed. Now, we know the DMR has been nerfed twice now, and that has really hurt the DMR. So a lot of people are happy with that. But at the same time, a lot of people are saying now, you know, the meta is just shifting to some other Cold War weapons. Uh, one being the AUG. I've heard a lot of discussion about the AUG as of late being really good. Uh, the Cold War AUG, that is. And a lot of people were just wanting the integration of Black Ops Cold War completely removed. I don't think Raven Software is going to do this, considering we just got the best-selling game list in the United States, that is, uh, for 2020. And surprise, surprise, Black Ops Cold War was number one, Modern Warfare was number two, and then Animal Crossing New Horizon was number three. So it shows you even though a lot of people are saying, oh, Call of Duty is dying. Call of Duty is not, you know, it's not what it used to be. It is still the number one selling game in the United States. Year in and year out. Now, does it keep player players' attention? It may not. You know, people may buy it and play it for a couple months and then kind of go away from it. But at that point, Activision kind of looks at it. We've already made a ton of money off this game from all the people that bought it from day one. And then, of course, the players that are still playing Warzone, the players that are still playing Cold War, are buying skins and things from the shop. So they're continuously making money off that as well. So that is why I don't see Raven Software changing this whatsoever. I don't think they're going to change the integration idea. I think that Activision's idea is to do that year in and year out, or their vision is to do that year in and year out. And I think they're going to continue with that until I think players just continue to just kind of quit playing. They, they say that Warzone still has around 85 million players which is insane. So I'm kind of curious to see what you guys think. What do you? How do you feel about this? Do you think they should change it? Do you think they should go back to the way it was? Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.